I'm really looking forward to it. And to think that when that uh, Olympic play, you know, when the cauldron gets lit in the Olympic Stadium, that I've had a little part to play in transporting that flame around the country. It's such a great honour, not just for myself, but for my family and for my sport. Being chosen to be a torchbearer, I mean, words can't really describe it. Uh, to be able to represent your family, my two kids especially, they're going to be able to remember it for the rest of their lives. I'm going to be running the leg which is from Wolverhampton to Birmingham. And I think the excitement is really building now and I am trying to sort of make sure that I train and do a little bit more than I normally do. I think it's important that people see the torchbearers for what they are, which is basically they do lots and lots of work, unpaid work, unsociable hours, and they do it for a passion for sport and they do it for a passion to help people and to get, to get into sport or provide help for people that wouldn't be there through normal means. The programme is designed for, for kids who just want to learn to skate and, and just, you know, if they want to do it, rec you know, for recreational purposes, we accommodate that. But our aim is to get them into, into sport. What's good about it is that it's across the whole community. Predominantly, uh, uh, the work that we do is in the Aston area. Aston is amongst one of the most deprived areas in the country. Having said that, there's a lot of people with a lot of goodwill in the area. I mean, we run a, a disabled badminton club, which we started, uh, which is the only one in the West Midlands now and I think that's one of the most rewarding things that I do. The Olympic Games coming to London has really helped the local communities, especially this one here in Coventry. The Coventry North Watchley Tennis Club uh, have been funded to the tune of £50,000 for the covering of two courts. It's a lot more maybe holistic than games in the past. Sporting has provided over £3 million in the local region, in the West Midlands, for sport to, 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 to grow, uh, both at a grassroots level and an elite level. Um, for instance, at Birmingham University, They've been funding to help to get their hockey pitches up to international and Olympic standard. It's only a 300 metre run, uh, but 200 metres, we, we, this is a 200 metre oval we have here, so it's, uh, it's only one and a half laps of this, you know. Our, our, our guys, our fastest guys can go around here in 26 seconds, you know, so <laughs> that's on skates, you know. It'd probably take me three hours to run 300 metres. <laughs>